Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today I have a designer series card project showcasing the Whale Wishes stamps and dies, plus the Ocean Wave Trio dies. And I've created this cute little ocean scene with three whales. And I'm gonna start by creating the frames and backgrounds for my card. I'm using one of the dotted detail dies, and I'm gonna die cut this a couple times because I need not only the panel for the background or sky portion of my card, but I also am going to need a couple pieces to die cut the Ocean Wave Trio from. This is gonna allow me to do an inlay style background. Now I am not actually gonna use these frames that I die cut from the watercolor cardstock. I'm going to die cut the frame from black cardstock and stack them one on top of another to give that nice dimension and to really frame up and, and have a nice bold frame for the card design. Once I have those inside panel pieces, I'm gonna use all three of the Ocean Wave Trio dies and die cut three different layers for the water borders. Now I purposely started with my uh, water that it's gonna be on the forefront of the card because I needed to make sure that I left enough room to stamp my greeting from the Whale Wishes stamp set. I did draw a line on my card so that I knew where I needed the sky portion to go. And I'm actually gonna start with my squeeze or uh, mustard seed distress ink, or I guess I'm gonna use fossilized amber, I pardon me. I'm gonna uh, first layer some fossilized amber for the sky, just there above where that line is where the ocean is gonna be, because I don't need to go ahead and take that ink all the way down. Then using the sun rays from the Mama Elephant Sunny Skies stamp set, I am gonna stamp the sun rays all the way across on both sides using the Wild Honey Distress ink. I'm gonna go ahead and go back over that with the fossilized amber ink and then set that aside while I add color to all three borders of water. And I'm gonna start with Chipped Sapphire Distress Ink. Then I'm gonna move on to the Blueprint Sketch Distress Ink. Again, I only need to add that ink just to the top portion of several of these since a lot of it's gonna be covered up. Now on this layer, I'm gonna to have to color the whole thing. I'm using the Salty Ocean Distress Ink. I'm using a scrap piece of paper to keep my fingers out of the ink. I'm gonna lay all four of these panels out now, spritz them with water from the Distress Sprayer, let that water sit for about 30 seconds or so, and then I'm gonna blot that dry. And that's gonna really give some nice water effects to the water borders, plus give me some nice distressing for the sun rays in the sky. Once these are, or once all of this is completely dry, I'm gonna stamp my greeting from the Whale Wishes stamp set along the bottom border using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I stamped the word wishes first, and then I'm gonna stamp the word best in front of that so the greeting will read best wishes. Once I have that stamped, I'm gonna add some little water splotches using one of my distress inks. I'm using the Salty Ocean ink here so that the tail end of the letter S has some little water splashes. Now, I like to add a little bit of white highlight to the little highlight area on this stamped word or the stamped words from this stamp set. I really think it makes the words pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my white pen and color all those areas in. Now, I did miss that little area there on the letter W. You'll even notice it in the finished card. After I filmed this and had already photographed everything, I realized I had missed that, so I went back with my pen and filled that little area in. So you can really see that that white makes the word pop. I'm also gonna add some white detail to the smaller word best. It also has little highlight areas. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the little water spout there that's coming, that 
You can stamp, and I'm going to stamp that above one of the whales. I just have them laid out on my card. I'm going to fill in those areas with a Salty Ocean Distress ink marker, the little water, water droplets. Then I'm going to take all three of my whales and stamp them with the black ink on some smooth white cardstock. Make sure I get them inked up really well. I'm going to stamp all three of these and then die cut them with the coordinating whale wishes dies. So there's four different whales in this stamp set plus three large greetings, lots of, lots of additional little greetings to customize those large greetings and accessory type of stamp images like water splashes and all of that fun stuff. I will die cut all, I, I stamped it four times, one of those images did not stamp that well. So I'm only going to actually be using three of these whales on my card today. I did color in the white areas on the whales with the E0000 Copic marker and R00 Copic marker. Just adds a little touch of color and interest to these whales. There's not a really a lot of area to color, but, and you could definitely just leave it plain white if you wanted to. I like the addition of a little, very, very light pink to the cheeks and a little bit of that very soft kind of flesh color. Make sure that's blended out good. And then I will die cut these adorable little whales so that I can finish up my card. I'm going to go ahead and start attaching each layer, starting with my background water, the middle layer of the water, and then the one on the forefront with the greeting. Then with some glue dots, I'm going to start attaching the whales. So I'm going to start with my first whale here. Then I will do the additional two kind of jumping whales. And I originally thought that I would have them both kind of coming up out of the water, but I decided to switch it up and I really like how that looks a little bit better. Plus I can add a cute little splash to the end of his tail over here. I originally thought I would do tone on tone, but I didn't think it showed up very good, so I went ahead and went with the chipped sapphire ink instead. I'm going to add some glossy accents to all those little water spots there on the card or water droplets the splash marks, and I'm going to set that aside for just a second. I decided I thought that the whales would look great, kind of glossy, and so I'm going to go over the black area on all three of the whales with glossy accents and fill that in really good, and then I'm going to let that set and dry, and I think I probably let it set and dry for about an hour because I wanted to make sure it was really good and dry before I handled it again. I'm going to just trace over this last one real quick. And I think the glossy accents really gives a nice finish to those whales. Next, I'm going to add some nice strong adhesive to a side fold card base. I'm holding my frame in place so I know where I want to place that middle scene piece. I'll attach that there. And then I'm going to go around all four edges of the scene with a glue pen and attach that dotted detail frame. It's so super skinny, so I like to use the glue pen. And I'm going to attach them one on top of another. So I've got four of these frames in all. And it really frames up the scene so cute. It ties into the black of the whales and it just really ties the whole card together. That is going to finish up this Whale Wishes card featuring the Mama Elephant Whale Wishes stamp set and coordinating dies plus the Ocean Wave Trio dies. Here are a couple more Mama Elephant videos you might be interested in watching. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.